The families who first came to New Zealand from Polynesia worked the land and grew crops together. Five centuries later, new settlers from Europe continued the tradition and cooperative farming made New Zealand one of the world's most successful producers of primary produce. These are our stories set in our landscape. Family Farming in New Zealand is a new documentary with historic and contemporary footage covering 70 years of family farming. Well, I enjoy farming for a start. I like being on the land. My roots are deep here. We've been here since about 1912, the family. On this farm now, there are four generations of McLagan. The basis still in New Zealand is really a family farm because the families tend to get the efficiencies out of farms. When the farm is doing well, the community does well. There was no electricity, no refrigeration, there were no electric lights. It just says, another silly bastard wanting to buy the kingdom of buggery. <laughs> <laughs> Those were his exact words. At Manutahi, the school is the centre of a progressive farming community and the whole land is a classroom. A local storekeeper teaches some of the boys the arts of beekeeping and horticulture. Learning often has a pleasant taste these days. To learn by doing is the first principle of modern education and growing up should be both serious and delightful. We would have to go home and help our father milk the cows and do the jobs and we all had our own little task to do. Eight-year-old Malcolm works during the annual sheep muster with his ten-year-old sister Merrily. <coughs> then I had to go home and pick up a bucket and hand milk cows. We never had milking machines. We milked about 40 cows. Hello, Vanessa. Pleased to meet you, Victoria. And you girls come to see the cows being milked, have you? Good, well, come on in. That's so big. I know. My calf was called Lola, uh, Lucy, and she was a Frisian. I live on a sheep station on the wing of the Southern Alps. We used to have a pet deer, but he got too wild and butted us with his antlers, so we had to shoot him for dog tucker. Well, I think animals are fascinating because if you, they don't hold grudges. What does he do? He comes on. <laughs> well, mostly they don't. Tim's shearing plant was driven by a little engine, so he had power in the wool shed, but he had no power in the house, which was a bit unusual. <laughs> the only solution I had for Nairi was if she wanted to read a book by an electric light, bring a chair down to the wool shed. On the farm, uh, we farm sheep, cattle, deer, and I must say now, uh, we also farm tourists. The family farm, I think over the generations has created a culture, cultures uh, that we probably don't realise are there. The basis of it is, is everyone's involvement, family farms, Here. family people, people who are committed, you've got a passion for farming. I think we've lost something and I don't know whether we'll ever get it back. The old idea of starting off as a married couple, share milking for a year or two, buying your own farm, uh, those days have just about gone for the, for the young farmers of today. The corporate farmers are now coming in, and maybe that's the way we should go, and that's going anyway, but let's never lose sight of what, what we have in New Zealand. That's special. <music> Thank you. 
multi-generational family farms laid the template for success in New Zealand for well over a century. Will this continue?